Hello Virtual Falcons! Um, this is the IXL website for Clinton Massey and you sign in with Google. The link to this website is in the video description. This video is Mrs. B now showing you how to find your grade level and even the math textbook that we use at school. IXL is optional, that means you aren't required to do it. Learning. And when you click on learning, uh, you will see the IXL math by grade level. Now yours doesn't always show the grade level. So here it says, so you would be in seventh grade. Now I know that seventh grade is the letter I and sometimes they use letters and sometimes it shows you that it's seven. Um, and then eighth grade too, if you're on track to skip eighth grade math and go to algebra, here's all the eighth grade stuff. Um, my algebra kids were level K, so this would be J and this would be I. So you could click in seventh grade and you could see all of the different skills that we cover in seventh grade. Now, if there's something in there that you did in Apex and you didn't feel like you had enough practice, because I think sometimes the thing with Apex is it gives you not as many problems as you would have if you were here in class. And so if you wanted to practice some of those, you could just come over here and pick something out. So I know you did solving two-step inequalities. So I'm going to try to look for that here. Maybe it was up at the top. Okay, here we go. One variable inequalities. So if I hover over one of these, if I hover over solution inequalities, the skills preview will show me several questions that would be in that area. If I wanted to graph solve one step inequalities, then I would be able to see there. If I wanted to look at solve two step inequality, which I think you guys recently had, there are some problems there. Now then I can click on that if those skill preview, if the problems look like problems that are like the ones that I wanted to review, then I could come in here and it will show me different problems. I don't know, my, my internet seems to be going really slow today. So then I can work over here and I can solve that. So I would subtract five from both sides. I'd get 2D is less than four. Um, so I'd get D is less than two. So I'm going to put D, click my less than, and two, and I'm going to click submit. So then it's going to say, hey, you got that right. It's going to tell me what question I got right, and it's going to give me a SMART score. Our, what we tell kids is you want to work on it until you get between 80 and 93 of a SMART score. 80 is very good, 93 is excellent, and then 100 is obviously you've got it completely. So once you get that SMART score, you could move on to the next um, task. So let's say I get this wrong and I say F equals 10. Well, I know it's not equals because it's a greater than, but now I know I'll have it wrong. So I click submit. You'll see that I've now answered two questions. My SMART score went down a little bit, but now I can go down here and I can see what I did wrong. So it tells me what I answered and then it gives me a hint of what to do. And then it actually solves it for me so I can see exactly what I should have done. So I should have had five is greater than four. I click got it and then I can go on to the next problem. So that's one way that you can access the problems. The other is if you click on learning and then you'll see at the top here, there are skill plans. So I wanna click on skill plans because skill plans has different things like our standards are in there and then the different textbooks. So right here, it has all of the different options. I can click on middle grades textbooks. That's just middle school textbooks. And right here, do you guys recognize this from last year? Yep. This is the green textbook that was in Ms. Beam's room. And if I click on seventh grade, because you guys are now in seventh grade, your book is, blue, is red. So this is the book that the kids that are here on campus are using for math class. And you'll see chapter one through five will be the chapters that Mr. Hudson is focusing on from here until Christmas time. So if you want to review, and again, totally optional, 
um, you can come through and say, okay, here's chapter one. What do I know and what can I practice a little bit more? So adding and subtracting integers, that's a part that my algebra guys, they could use extra practice with too. So that might be something you want to try. And then if you'll continue on, it will see rational numbers. This is really where people get stuck. So if I'm going to add and subtract rational numbers, then I've got all kinds of different numbers, mixed numbers, negative numbers, decimals that I can work on and practice with. So that's how you're going to ask access Mr. Hudson's, the textbook that you would have if you were here on campus. Now, I wanna say that it's really important to know that none of this is stuff you have to do. This is only if you want to do.